Hey, you! Oh, Run! I don't want to die! Oh. Hey, come on! Come on, I got a story for you! Looks like your girlfriend's a lot faster than you are. If I was a bear, I would have killed you. But I'm not. Why don't you sit down and let me tell you a story about Captain Jonathan Davis. Ain't as young as I used to be, but you ain't that fast of a runner. Why don't you just sit still? Your girlfriend's gone. Doesn't look like she's coming back for you. Maybe you should look for another one. Back in the 1850s, there were a lot of people with dreams of striking it rich by finding gold in the California countryside. There were just as many dirtbags with dreams of bypassing the work part of that dream and stealing boatloads of gold from those prospectors. Captain Jonathan R. Davis was one of those hardworking types who had two friends with him hiking through the canyons for a good spot to get to business. Dr. Bolivia R.A. Sparks and James McDonald were the other two in Davis's team of three that were being watched by a group of murderous criminals not far up the canyon. They didn't know it yet, but they were in a dangerous kill zone, and James McDonald never got to hear even the first shots. His head exploded as he walked with his two friends, so Dr. Sparks drew his pistol and shot wildly towards the advancing group and missed. He was quickly peppered with lead and Captain Davis was left alone, staring down 11 organized bandits with guns all pointed at his head. What these 11 ruthless killers didn't know is that the last guy they were left shooting at was one of the most ruthless hardcore gunslingers in the West. They should have known by the size of his mutton chops that they weren't dealing with just a run-of-the-mill prospector. Davis figured it was as good a day to die as any. So he drew his revolvers with lightning speed and fired the first two rounds from his hip. Two of the gang took one apiece between the eyes and had barely hit the ground before he slung more hot lead in their direction as rounds grazed his arm and ripped through his jacket. He sidestepped quickly and fired two more. Two more dropped. He ducked, rolled and kept firing. He had 12 shots and dropped seven dirt bags with them. They were all out of ammo and he was still facing four enemies. Back then, reloading wasn't very tactical at all, so they only had one option left. Knife fight. They drew their knives and Davis, well, he drew his big ass bowie knife. He charged at the four remaining men and got busy slicing. Soon he was left standing alone, covered in the blood of 11 of the most unlucky bandits in the canyon. A nearby group of miners witnessed the whole gunfight from the beginning to the end, and word quickly spread that this Jonathan Davis guy was no one to be fracked with. At that spot remained 11 shallow graves to prove it. There's not many accounts at all about Davis after that. He basically just walked off into the sunset, like I'm gonna do. So don't follow me, even if you don't know your way back.